Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a bizarre pattern change that will be impacting the United States this week something that we typically do not see in May including the threat for some very heavy rainfall that could lead to some flash flooding well below average temperatures in some areas and the threat for severe weather I'll give you the latest breakdown and everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today or it's going to begin with the Midwest and if you've not already seen there's actually been a couple of tornadoes through Iowa today and we're going to continue to see some severe weather over the next few hours it'll start to taper off after sunset but some pretty impressive supercells that have been developing near St. Louis and back through central Iowa and those will continue again for the next few hours before they start to dissipate further down to the south we have a huge MCS that developed overnight in Texas it brought a lot of severe weather with damaging winds we even saw a couple of tornadoes as well down in south Texas that system is now into the Gulf of Mexico we are still seeing some showers and even a few storms popping up out there a lot of those won't be severe but there might be some isolated severe weather throughout the rest of today but really the big talk will be what we're going to be seeing next week because we'll have a pretty interesting pattern change in the United States and a lot of it has to do with the jet stream and this is the jet stream beginning with tomorrow we do have a couple of key features one of which is the low pressure system back over on the western half of the United States in the upper levels and then back over on the eastern half of the United States we do have a ridge in place down in the southeast now this will not last too long the jet stream is going to be weakening over the central United States but it will begin to intensify over the northeast United States and you'll notice as we go through Monday and Tuesday the jet stream becomes much stronger in the northeast United States and again this is something that we don't typically see in May it's more of a summertime setup and what this is basically going to allow in the United States going into this week is that we'll have strong southerly winds near the surface in the mid levels that's going to be able to lift moisture into the southern United States you might notice on the thumb now, this is the area that we have some targets for at least some heavy rainfall and maybe even a little bit of flash flooding and as well as the threat for maybe some isolated severe weather but there's not really any organized systems in the United States rather in the upper levels or even the lower levels we don't really have any organization to create much severe weather potential until Thursday or Friday of this upcoming week that is when things might get a bit more interesting you'll notice here going into Friday the European model does pick up on at least some sort of trough developing and this might bring our next threat for maybe some significant severe weather that could include areas like the Midwest and as well as back down through the Southern Plains and eventually going to next week we'll watch for another different weather pattern in the United States now for the moisture I mentioned this before we have a lot of moisture in the central and southern United States as of today we have a ton of moisture back into the Midwest and as well as into the central and northern plains that will change though over the next few days you'll notice going into Monday moisture starts to kind of back down into the southern plains and closer to the Gulf Coast that is where dew points will be into the 60s and as well as even into the 70s so very very humid overall and then going into Tuesday and Wednesday it's a very similar story all the moisture is going to be basically being pushed down to the south so it's going to be mostly along the Gulf Coast where we're going to have more of a persistent moisture inflow coming off the Gulf Coast and then once we go into late Tuesday into Wednesday that continues but notice going into Thursday maybe even into Friday dew points start to climb a little bit into the Midwest and this will be our next potential disturbance in the upcoming week for the potential for more of an organized threat of maybe some severe weather but the question will be how much moisture will actually be up there the european model is only indicating dew points in maybe the mid 50s that's not really enough for severe weather at least significant wise but further down to the south in the central and southern plains it's a bit higher some dew points in the mid 60s that could create some severe weather potential down that direction so we'll really have to watch that threat going into the later port part of the week but really we need to be a bit more concerned about what's happening in the next few days this is the future radar so again showers and storms will continue we'll have the threat of some isolated severe weather as we head into tomorrow tomorrow across areas in the Ohio Valley and maybe even in parts of the Midwest once we go through Tuesday as well as Wednesday showers and storms do continue along the Gulf Coast and even in surrounding areas from the mid-Atlantic back through the southern plains this could cause the threat for some flash flooding in some areas I'll indicate what those areas are in just a moment once we go into Wednesday and as well as into Thursday again watch in the northern plains and then back through the Midwest that is where our next disturbance will likely start to originate from and that might bring some severe weather there are some question marks whether there'll be enough moisture in stability and all that sort of stuff and then once we go into late Thursday into Friday that is our next storm system that will impact the Midwest but overall a lot of areas will be dry this week especially across areas in the Midwest up until about late Wednesday and as well as back through Friday and over the next seven days there is going to be a ton of rainfall you'll notice back down into areas like the southern plains and into Texas there could be upwards of three to six inches of rain in some spots especially back through South Texas where we've already seen a lot of rainfall and also back through areas in Iowa as well as even into the Midwest 
that's an area that we'll also see the threat for maybe around one to three inches of rain and then back through the mid-atlantic and southeast plenty of rainfall will be falling there over the next few days this is a bit of a closer look for those in the southern plains areas like north texas could see somewhere between a half an inch to about three inches of rain that's the range for this week and then back into south texas a much better chance of seeing significant rainfall that could definitely lead to some flash flooding over the next five to seven days and the weather prediction center has outlined a few areas that could see that threat for excessive rainfall which would lead to flash flooding one of which is down into south texas and then a little small risk outside of that that's your marginal threat of some flash flooding which extends essentially from north carolina all the way back through colorado a fairly large area for tomorrow on monday the threat really just kind of originates in texas that's where we'll have heavier rainfall a bit more of an initiator to create some more of that rainfall that could lead to some isolated flash flooding for the severe weather threat in the short term nothing too concerning here across the united states we'll have a couple of days to watch out for though one of which will be tomorrow there will be a marginal threat of severe weather i wouldn't be surprised if there is a small slight risk of severe weather for the damaging wind threat with those storms that do kind of collapse down to the south overnight tonight into tomorrow morning that is going to be mainly for damaging winds and then going into monday there's also going to be a chance for at least a small risk of severe weather down into the southeast we might see something around in the southern plains or maybe even a, another part of the southeast there might be a chance for some sporadic severe weather but there's not enough confidence to really indicate a marginal threat of severe weather as of right now now as i mentioned there's a better chance of severe weather later in the week it's going to really depend on where the moisture sets up how high the dew points are to help create that buoyancy but one of the other key ingredients is the instability and for the next several days that instability will literally be sitting in the southern plains in the southeast so there is a chance for some severe weather again that will depend on if there's any initiators and when i say initiators i mean like a cold front a dry line an outflow boundary whatever it might be we would need something like that in the southern plains or the southeast for severe weather to happen and once we go into tuesday into wednesday instability shrinks a bit further down to the south but we'll notice as we go into late wednesday into thursday there is a little bit of instability it's very hard to pick out with your own eye but there will be a little bit of instability here along a cold front that extends from the midwest back through the southern plains that would be mainly for thursday and friday and that is when we are we have our next chance for some severe weather again it's too far out to really get into specific details there but that will be our next chance from the midwest back through the southern plains for right now though it does not seem to be a significant severe weather outbreak the european model does indicate at least some showers and storms on thursday and friday in the southern plains along that cold frontal boundary but whether we actually see severe weather is going to be the big question mark for right now i would not be too concerned again if any severe weather does happen it's probably gonna be a low risk anyways but it will be something to watch for as we go into thursday as well as maybe even into friday across areas like texas oklahoma and maybe arkansas now for the temperatures for the next week or two we're going to be looking at for the most part across the united states around average temperatures it'll be a bit below average in the central and southern plains through the early week but once we go into later this week notice this will actually have the potential for a cold blast in a sense across areas like the northern plains in the midwest that would be behind the low pressure system that ends up developing and some more warm and humid air could actually lift out of the south from this and that might make it a little bit warmer out in front of it but other than that again we're not looking at anything too big in terms of cold blasts in the united states or huge heat waves for the next seven to ten days thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting and all dense repair